So the 70s and 80s were all about slasher flicks, haunted houses, and mysterious disappearances. But in 1988, director Tom Holland uh, gave us something very uh, refreshing. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about Child's Play. It's so original for its time. Reinvented the wheel, so to speak. It plays out like a mystery. It, it delivers some of the uh, finest animatronic uh, work I've ever seen. On the night of Andy's birthday, his babysitter is mysteriously killed, and us, the audience, are in on it to the fact that we know who the killer is. Uh, young Andy claims that his doll is responsible, and he's right. <laughs> Catherine Hicks, she goes above and beyond. There's one pivotal scene where she confronts this doll. This young boy, Andy, his innocence really reflects off this doll. And he's really attached to it also. Gets to the point where he's in, in danger because of this doll. Chris Sarandon, uh, here he plays detective Mike Norris. The camera work is what really sets this movie apart from most killer doll films. But here you have, you know, that POV cam. Uh, and us, all the, the audience, are kind of in on it. And, and know that this is the doll we're, we're in the shoes of at the moment. We see early on in the film that Brad Dorf transfers his soul into a, this particular good guy doll. His partner in crime abandons him. Him and Andy go to track this guy down. So we see that, that vendetta, that grudge you know, take place. Child's Play never misses a beat. It, it's one of those films that we sticks with us. For a lot of reasons, nothing comes close to Child's Play. If you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out in the long run. And also consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Alright, take care.